from uh, NTI. I am a patient care coordinator and we are here in uh, the hotel in uh, Vicenza. It is a very nice day. And uh, here we have Miss Sandra that is uh, uh, from California and uh, she would like to tell uh, us something about her experience with us. This is Jack, her husband, that has been very helpful during these days and <laughs> cooperative. <laughs> Thank you both. And Sandra, do you like to tell us something uh, yes, about uh, you, your story? Um, I've had uh, CRPS for mm, probably four and a half years. Um, I was treated here um, about a year and a half ago and I had been in a wheelchair for three years before that. Uh, when I came back um, December 1st, um, I was able to get out of the wheelchair and walk again. And only um, in the last probably, oh, maybe eight, eight months, I've started having uh, pain in my feet again, and it started getting worse. So I was afraid. And I came back to MTI, and I was happy to see the same staff. Uh, Dr. Piazzi was still here. Uh, everybody's been so kind and helpful to me, and uh, to Jack, and uh, the uh, uh, physical therapist, Andrea and Umberto, are fabulous. Uh, their English is much better, but they are very, very helpful. Um, the treatment, um, uh, you know, it's tiring, but it's worth it. And I feel much better. I'm able to walk around the hotel room uh, yesterday was my last infusion, and um, my feet don't hurt like they did. I am uh, starting to uh, get stronger and, and walk a little bit. And today is uh, the first day of, of, of not, no treatment. I'm done. So I highly recommend it. I'm so grateful for the staff and the team that has been here to get me through this uh, terrible disease. And I recommend uh, MTI for everybody. I just wish they could be in America, but I had no choice. I need to get well. I need to walk again. I have five grandchildren that are waiting for me to play with them. And I look forward to that. And it's been extreme pleasure to be here with such caring and professional people. Oh, thank you, Sandra. You have been uh, very good. You already explained many things. <laughs> I would ask you, which are the main differences that uh, you see from uh, the treatments and the care that uh, you are having here and the situation in uh, the States? Uh, America is crazy. Um, I've seen more than 27 doctors and since I came back from my first treatment I've seen five neurologists, a rheumatologist, I've seen an endocrinologist, I've seen uh, two what they call a primary doctor absolutely no one was able to help me. They had, they just didn't know anything about CRPS. They weren't willing to learn. And I had to teach them and um, be really careful about not offending them because they tend, some professionals tend to know everything. Um, so it was refreshing to be around uh, medical professionals that understood, knew what to do, uh, knew how to answer my questions, uh, take the fear out because I was really scared. 
and made me feel that there's hope and that this uh, this time for, it, it sounds to me like this will be my last uh, treatment at MTI but I will be back to Italy and I have many friends here now thanks to uh, Lorena and my prior care manager uh, Sandra Brockovic so um, uh, medical team that administered the uh, Narendrani uh, were kind, uh, professional, very caring, and um, I wasn't afraid. I felt uh, safe, and uh, I think uh, I think that uh, something that you really appreciated, as you told me during the last days is the fact that uh, all your questions have been immediately answered by anybody. Yeah. The doctor, the osteopaths, the nurses, me, everyone. Yeah. And I can say that uh, from the first time that I met you, you look much more relaxed now. I, and, I'm not uh, afraid anymore. Yes. So, so it's been really, uh, it's been a good experience. Uh, it was expensive, but it's worth it because I'm gonna get my life back. And that's really all that matters. You know, I'm not gonna get worse. I'm gonna get better. Yes. During these days, we could not go much visiting uh, around uh, other towns because you prefer to just uh, have your time to relax. But I know that next week uh, you are having uh, several days uh, mm -hmm. holiday in Italy. So maybe Jack uh, would like to tell us something organize the, <laughs> the program so um, I love Italy for the caregivers that come <laughs> get up early and get out of the room and go for a walk <laughs> uh, Italy is a fantastic place and the only way to really see it is, is on foot so I hope you can go out and enjoy and have some time for yourself very good so I know that you are going to visit uh, Padova, Padua, Padua, maybe Verona, Venice mm -hmm. for sure, and the country around. Uh, yes, we have um, we have four days with a car, so we're going to explore, and that will be easy for her, so she, she doesn't have to walk. But um, then we spend another six days close to Venice, so we will try to get out to the Venice island and around as much as we can. But just being here is a, is a pleasure and a joy. So. Fine. And what about uh, the hotel? You are here in Hotel Palace of Vicenza. How was your stay here? The, the accommodations are fantastic. Um, there's a bus stop outside the front door for transportation. Um, I did walk up to the Basilica de Brenta on top of the hill the other day. It was fantastic. Um, there's many restaurants. The hotel is quiet, it's air conditioned, and they have a wonderful restaurant downstairs. Um, and there's other restaurants in the neighborhood a short walk away. Um, we've had some rain, we've had some very warm days, but um, all in all, it's just been a great experience. The people of Italy are wonderful. Thank you, thank you all. Yes, as we were saying, uh, Italian people uh, are very fond of food yes. and wine, so <laughs> this is why we every day we have been talking about that. <laughs> yes, they talk about food all the time. <laughs> so, which was your favorite uh, dish, the favorite thing that you had here? I had um, a spaghetti carbonara mm. that was fantastic and um, some carpaccio. Um, Sandy had a pizza, even though she could only eat one or two pieces. <laughs> okay. She loved it. She said it was the best pizza she's ever had. Yes. It was salmon and um, and buffalo mozzarella. Big chunk of mozzarella right in the middle. <laughs> yeah. A monster. And the limoncella. The limoncella limoncello. is the best. <laughs> is the best. Okay, so do you have any recommendation for us? Do you think that there is something else that as MTI we can improve for our patients? Some new ideas that we can put in action to give the a only... better service to our patients? The only thing I would say is perhaps there might be a caution about the warmth um, 
in June and July about how hot it can be here. Um, of course, we're from North America, so we're used to a cooler climate, but I think these two months are probably the warmest. Yes. Um, today we have a beautiful day. Um, it's maybe 80 degrees Fahrenheit and, and very comfortable. When we got here the day we arrived, it was uh, 104 Fahrenheit. It was very warm, but um, no, the weather has been fantastic. Uh, rain and little thunder and lightning at night. Um, not too bad at all. Um, but if you do come, get out and walk the streets. They're safe, the people are wonderful, and there's so much to see. Thank you. Thank you, Jack, for your suggestion. Sandra, do you like to test something else? The, uh, <laughs> Lorena's been fabulous. Yes. Uh, Thank you. She's been most kind, <laughs> had uh, answers to all our questions. Uh, she was helping Jack with the uh, traffic signs, the lines in the roads, because he's going to be driving, and uh, she, uh, I had questions too, so now we feel more comfortable with uh, the rental car, and uh, not having any uh, trouble on the highways and the, and the roadways, yes. so that she knows everything. <laughs> yes, I did some uh, teaching lesson, but I think that Jack, uh, you are in safe hands uh, with him. <laughs> yeah, at the we'll time. see. We shall see. <laughs> yes, I'm sure that it will be. Okay, thank you very much uh, again. Grazie. You have come back to us. Grazie. And we wish you all the best for your recovery. And next time that you are coming in Italy for holiday, we will meet and go yes. to eat some pizza and uh, see something nice together. See, yes. Thank you. Thank Grazie. you, Lorena, thank for you. your kind help. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I think that Good. you deserve an Oscar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve an Oscar prize. They won't edit one.